Hey, I'm CJ, and today we're checking out do-it-yourself EMDR. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a doctor and nothing here is medical advice. Let's get to it. So a few months ago, I'm browsing around on YouTube and I found EMDR videos, specifically videos that look like this, where you follow along with lateral eye movement, which is a big part of the EMDR process. I recorded most of this video two months ago, so let's actually hop back to there right now. Two months earlier. I have been going through it lately. So last week I got in a fight with this guy I had hired to work for me. The gist was that he wasn't sure we should work together anymore and, and I took it really hard. I've been trying to do this thing lately where I, I feel my feelings because I don't think I've done that a lot. I spent like 12 hours not getting out of bed and being sad and realizing that like a month ago when I had friend drama, if I wasn't busy the next day, I probably would have done the same thing. All of which brought me to the realization that I have a lot of trouble with rejection. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about it. I came across the notion that you can do EMDR without a practitioner. So real quick, EMDR works like this. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy. The theory goes that our brain stores normal and traumatic memories differently. Traumatic memories are stored like a wound that never heals, meaning anything we connect to the original trauma as a trigger for fear, panic, anxiety, or anger. Now with EMDR, this reprocesses the negative events to change the way the memory is stored in the brain. Ultimately what repairs the mental injury so the next time we come across a similar situation or trigger all those related feelings will be much more manageable have i done an emdr session with a professional no i'm flying blind a few years ago i did do a program to get my certificate in trauma coaching and so i'm going to borrow a little bit from the methodologies i learned there to see if i can make this work one of the things i learned is you go back to the root of a feeling thinking about my recent rejection experiences When's the first time I really felt that way? And first grade, man, two friends on the playground. One day they decided they didn't want me hanging out with them anymore. I just remember feeling like I would never have friends again. Things were never gonna be okay. So we're gonna do EMDR back on this memory as well as the current one. So here's the steps we're gonna follow. So first off, you're going to pick your safe place. You want the safe place to serve as a ripcord in case you start getting overwhelmed by feelings during the process. For me, this is gonna be a trip to Iceland that I once took and saw the Northern Lights. Number two, pick out which eye movement video you want to use. There's so many of these on YouTube. Number three, before we get started, we're going to take one minute to get centered. For myself, I'm going to do alternative nostril breathing because I find that gets me into a centered place. Next, we are going to watch the video. And while we watch the video, we're going to think about the traumatic memory in detail. And we're going to do this between two and five minutes. After the time is up, we're going to think about what new memory we want. Some people imagine the memory going differently. Some people imagine some kind of a guardian angel coming down and changing the events. I'm going to imagine myself now talking to myself as a child and reassuring her that it is all okay. After this, we're going to go back to step four. We're gonna watch the video and think about the traumatic memories two more times. And then we're gonna repeat this whole process two times a day for the next few days. Uh, round one, I guess we'll call that. I that was surprising. I wouldn't say my mind was wandering, but I had a lot more memories come up and things I haven't thought of in probably 20 years. And so if it seemed relevant, I kept it and I'd think about that deeply. Something else I didn't expect is my eyes got really tired. I originally started out at five minutes. The next couple rounds, I scaled it back to two minutes. I saw some people to do the process for like a full 15, 20 minutes. Uh, good luck to you. I don't know how your eyes could take that. Otherwise, I just feel tired. We'll stay emotionally drained, but try again tomorrow. Two months later. Okay, I did the process twice a day, sometimes three times a day for about a week. And then after that, whenever I started having those kind of intrusive thoughts about rejection, I'd go ahead and do the session all over again. I can say with 100% authority that that particular incident does not bother me anymore. But, there's a but, and the but is other things have happened. I've gotten upset about other things. So, conclusions. Did this EMDR at home process do anything? Well, yes, I would say I found a significant difference in the number of times those thoughts and feelings about rejection came up. I found those thoughts not to be such an intrusive force into my life. Now that said, do I like the idea of doing EMDR every few days, every time there's a problem? Because that's kind of the crux of it. Problems are gonna come up all of the time. For me personally, I think what works better is getting back to basics on things like meditation, mindfulness, and trying to change the way that I see situations so I'm not so 
easily triggered by different things. Nonetheless, if I have something in the future, some kind of a thought or feeling where I just can't get over it, I just can't get it out of my mind, then yes, DIY EMDR is definitely something I'd check out. EMDR at home, would you try it? Let me know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out and I will see y'all next time. Love you, bye.